On these exposed beaches, the surf zone is also a rich environment for those hunters able to withstand the shifting abrasive sand. It looks deserted, but hidden just under the surface, a miniature fleet is waiting to set sail with the tide. For now, the only sign of the Armada is a mysterious breathing pipe. But as the tide rises, they begin to reveal themselves. Fingerplow shells are scavengers scouring the beach for carrion. It's a long way for a small snail to crawl. So instead, this sailor unfurls its foot into a handy sail and rides the swell up the beach. Unlike the rock-bound limpets that take shelter from the waves, these snails use the incoming tide to their advantage. The swell isn't only an energy saver. It's also taking the finger plow shell to the same place it's washed any dead fish. Once they've arrived, their powerful sense of smell lets them hone in on their juicy target. Their sensory ability is staggering, allowing them to smell certain chemicals from dead fish in minuscule concentrations. The raiders get to work quickly. The finger plow shell begins to suck up any tissue with its deft proboscis. These snails are gluttons. At a single sitting, they can eat up to a third of their own body weight. If they preserve their energy and stay buried most of the time, a feast like this can sustain them for two weeks. Once they're done, they bury themselves again at the mid-tide level. They wait here until the retreating tide carries them back to their original haunts. <laughs> 